Hello there. So, you want to test the alternator on a car. Good idea. All you need is a multimeter, five minutes and a little know-how. Grab a pen. Welcome to Car Spy TV, where we discuss buying, driving, maintaining and selling cars, because it's interesting. OK, so you want to test the alternator on a car. Let's start by recapping the basics so we have absolute clarity. The purpose of the alternator is to recharge the battery to help start the engine. Therefore, to test the alternator, we can measure the voltage of the battery with a multimeter. If it's too low, it's possible the alternator isn't working properly. Anyway, enough talk, let's go outside the car. And let's be quick, I think it's going to rain. To start the test, make sure the vehicle is switched off and find the battery. It's most likely in the engine bay or behind a carpeted panel in the boot. Next, confirm that the battery's positive and negative terminals are clean. Why? Because corrosion might stalk the result of the test. As you can see, these terminals look clean enough. Next, set the multimeter to measure up to 20 DC volts. Now put the red lead on the positive terminal and the black lead on the negative, then take a reading. A healthy, properly charged battery typically reads about 12.6 volts. That's what we see here. Next, start the vehicle so the alternator can charge the battery. Furthermore, switch off as many electrical systems as you can. For example, turn off the lights, the heater and the stereo. Now take a second reading and expect it to be significantly higher than the first. Cars vary, but between 13.5 and 15 volts is typically about right. This higher reading proves that the alternator is charging the battery. As you can see, my reading is 14.3 volts. That's encouraging, but there's a final step to take when testing the alternator on a car. So, switch on a few electrical systems. I'm turning on all the lights, the heater and the stereo. These systems put more load on the electrics. Now take a third reading with a multimeter. It might be lower than the second because of the extra load on the electrics, but in short it's still significantly higher than the first. As you can see, my reading is about 14.1, which is fine. So, all three readings combined suggest this alternator is working properly. Happy days! There's a final point to consider before you throw your multimeter back in the toolbox. If the readings are too low, don't automatically condemn the alternator. Low voltage can be caused by a wide range of problems. Bad wires, for example. Right, that's my car sorted, but what about yours? Let me know in the comments section what readings you're getting. While you're commenting, don't forget to click like on this video, that helps me out, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free and it makes it easier to find my other videos. Right, that's all for now. This thing needs a new alternator.